Hello. I have a picture here of my second grand and um, we were doing a family challenge, well, me and two of my daughters, um, to send three pictures and not put any titles or anything. Unless they really wanted to, then they could. But anyhow, my um, daughter had gotten home from work and her, um, her youngest one was laying asleep on the sofa and she just looked so beautiful she took a picture of her. So anyhow, um, I am doing this layout with um, some minte embellishments and um, some some six by six minte papers and then this kind of looks like one of the papers in the pad. Uh, where is that at? Um, well, I guess this one's kind of like it. Um, this one was, is actually a paper studio. It's just a little bit darker, which is going with my mood and feel. So I'm using that one. And um, since it's a paper studio, it is kind of thin. And so I am going to um, back it with white. And then I am going to have her over on this side with some other embellishments that I'll show you in a little bit. And right here, I'm going to cut out a triangle and lace it up like, like a corset. Um, on her birthday, she, she is going to be 13 here shortly, but on her t before her 12th birthday, her aunt had said, so what kind of birthday party do you want to have? And she goes, I don't know. I would like to wear a corset. <laughs> And I just thought that was so cute because I kind of had a corset fetish um, <laughs> a, year, a few years ago where I just think they're so pretty. And I love the whole lacy, laced up things. And I mean, I love laced up boots, whatever, everything lacy, laced up. And oh, and all, anything lacy. But um, so anyhow, the um, other paper... Um, I'm using is, oh, I actually have it right here to show you. It's going to be this one here. It's a beautiful floral, and on the back it looks like a sweater. And then I'm also using one of the sweat, the blue sweater, or kind of a lavender. It's kind of a, like a lavender blue. So this one here, and the other side looks like this. Oops, wasn't even in the screen, I don't think. So that's what that looks like, and uh, the side I'm going to use looks like this. It's just beautiful paper. So um, I've actually taken that sweater paper and I've cut it with the lace punch. Um, let me show it here. Well, maybe you can see it because of the contrast. And it's a beautiful pattern. Oh, you can kind of, well, I guess I was kept thinking it was white on the back. But it's this Fiskars pattern. And I'm not sure what the pattern is actually called. But it's one of my favorite punches. Because I love lacy things. So, um, I'm going to be, I'm going to put this in here as an insert. I'm going to put five grommets in. I'm going to start one inch from my point, one inch up, and I'll probably have it about a half an inch from the side here. And then for after that one inch, I'm going to go one and a half, one and a half, one and a half, one and a half, all the way up. And I'm going to have it on both sides. So I'm going to cut that, and, um, and then I'll put in all the grommets, but I'll save one so I can show you how to do it if you haven't done it before. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And I thought better of than to try to hammer on the film because it was super noisy. And um, because of going through the two papers, it was extra loud too. I had to hit it 10 times to get it to go through. But um, I'm gonna kind of show you how the whole thing works. Um, this is a... Um, This is a memory, no, it is a Making Memories kit. 
It's like this. Um, I have my tweezers out and the pokey thing out already. So these things I have out. Um, and then you get the hammer with it. And then this little tool that puts in the grommets. And this tool that pokes the grommet holes. And you have to empty this every now and then. And um, anyhow, there's three different sizes. So there's really tiny. There's quite wide. And I used this one, which actually was maybe a little smaller than what I needed, but I kind of kept the grommets or the eyelets in the right spot so I could actually line them up and then flip it over. So that was kind of nice. So um, you actually put down, like I marked where I wanted them with a pencil, and let's just say that's your spot. And you would just take this and line it up there. Make sure you have um, a mat that you can, that's like a self-healing mat like your creative, um, your creative memories or something. <coughs> Sorry. And, yeah, and then you just hit it. And I'm not going to do it, but... <laughs> and then when you put the grommet in... Excuse me, I can have a drink. You would, um, like if you want the grommet to be the nice side on here, you would push it through this way, flip it over, and the grommet would be this side up and then you'd put this on here and hammer it again and I actually have another tool that does it but every time and it's just like a squeeze tool like a paper punch but whenever I've used it it's every single one of my grommets is messed up so I prefer to do it this way I would do the other maybe for if I didn't care how the project looked <laughs> So I, I, wanna, I want it to look good, so I'm doing it this way. And so um, I've cut the length of ribbon to be, um, like I measure, I kind of laid it out like this, and then I took twice that. So I, am, I pulled it up from the bottom, and now I'm going to push it back through to the bottom. and kind of turn it so it kind of lays flat. And I'm gonna do that to this side too. And maybe it'd be easier. I kind of folded it in half so I'd have the half on each side. And now we've got that going in. I think I've calculated it where it'll come out um, this way on the top. So then um, I'll lace it from the bottom. Oh, let me show you what it looks like down here. So you can see like the grommets are smashed. I mean, some, some of them took a little, they were actually a little hard, but I think they're, they're a little wider than what I'm used to. But um, because of I, me doing a long space, I kind of wanted them wider grommets or eyelets. I guess they're called either thing. But for a corset, they would be calling it eyelets. And I just thought, oh, maybe that's what she's dreaming of. <laughs> and I just thought it looked pretty. I love, I love this kind of look. So um, my daughter's baby album that um, I can list it in the, the drop-down menu. I did that on the side of her album. So you see the laced up, it looks really pretty. I, I just love this whole look. Okay, so now I went down and then I came back up. And so now I'm gonna go back down again. And I chose this ribbon because of the little bit of sparkle on it and this um, kind of lavender blue color. And I'm going to twist it so it stays flat. Okay, and then do the same on this side. And I've been, I was kind of deciding whether I wanted it 
to actually come out here, but I might not even tie it. I might just let it um, just hang loose. Because um, it doesn't really need to be tied. I might like that just kind of loose look. And then this one back up through here again. And it looks like if I was going to tie it, I guess I could use a little more. But this is probably enough to tie it also. But I kept thinking about leaving it just loose. Let's see. I want to make sure I got it. What oh, it actually is going the right direction. It just kind of looks twisted. Okay, so it looks like that now. And then I am going to put this lace trim in here that I punched out. Oh, and I had just taped down a little bit right here and a little bit right here. So like here and here, because you don't want to tape where your eyelets are going to go because you'd never get through there. Okay, and so I'm going to probably, I guess I need to actually have it in here. Let me put it there and see. I'm kind of putting it under the weave of the back. Let me see if that's how it looks like it's supposed to be. Yes, okay. So I'm going to tape that. And put that there. I'm just going to tape it in a couple places because I'm going to glue it afterwards and that way if I <laughs> mess up then um, I can pull it back out. So maybe it's easier from the front, yeah. Okay, and I'm going to put it right up to that top part and kind of look to see where this little diamond is that's punched out there. So it kind of looks like they're lined up all the way down. So that looks good. And oh, this is the other side of that. Um, when you punch it out, it looks like this. And it's... It's like that paper is so thick, it just looks so pretty even like that. So I, I'll use that sometimes. So I just put it to the side and I'll put it in with my borders. And again, I'm gonna tuck this in. I really like how this looks already. And I think she'll love it. I can't wait for her to see it. Okay. I've got them both in the right place. Okay, and then um, I actually punched enough to do two big ones, but I thought I don't need a whole one. So I just cut these in half. And I probably don't even need that money, but I'm going to go here now and tuck this in here. Oh yeah, I'll be able to cut that off. But I'm going to line it up with the one that's ahead of it or at the top of it so it looks like it lines up. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Maybe I'll actually just go ahead and cut it in half because I know I'm not going to need that. Oh, uh, maybe not. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and leave it that length because um, it won't hurt if it's long, too long. So again, I'm just tucking it and then lining it up with the one that's right above it. So I'm just like putting the two, like it's lined up like this. So I'll be putting the two together so you won't be able to tell where one ends and one begins. I think. <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna slide it this way, I guess. So I think that will be easier. And I can see with the way that it's cut out, like putting a puzzle together. So that looks like that's the spot. And then over here it's easier because they don't overlap at all. Well, it should be easier if I can get underneath there. 
I'll try to keep it here where you can see it. And I'm going to pull that down. There. See how it looks on this side. Oh yeah, it looks real good. Okay. And then, I, this is a piece I'm going to put in the insert. Nope, and that little piece flipped over. I kept thinking it looked like it was, oh no, it's not. I don't know. I guess that's the way it goes. Okay, so I'm going to kind of pull them a little taunt now. And then I am going to tape this and I'm going to have to take off some of the sides because I'm bringing this up here so it goes the length. So I am just going to cut off a little of this here. Let's see. What do I feel comfortable taking off? Okay, so I'm just going to go for it. <laughs> it's not something I always do, but let's see. Yeah, I think that is going to be perfect. So I'm just going to cut this much off of this side too. Kind of the same. Okay, and does it matter which way I lay it? Nope, it does not. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit of tape here on top of those spots. Here, and you know, I'll be taping it afterwards too, so. Okay, so anyhow, I'm just gonna kind of lay this out because I measured this point so that I could put this right here. So I've got plenty of room. And then I will trim that off. Okay, let me put that there. And it looks like I have more than what I need right there. Oh yeah, that looks great. Okay, so I'm just going to push this down. And I love how this looks like fabric. Is that beautiful or what? I love that. I might have to um, kind of glue these down where I want them. Okay, and so now I'm just going to trim this off. I just trimmed through the lace a little bit because I had that up higher than what it needed to be. Okay, that looks good. I'm excited to get this one done. Okay, and where's my beautiful dreamer? Okay, and then I am going to put her here. I just kind of want to look like she's kind of floating in a dream. So I have this window here. And these are all from the um, dreamer elements. And then I'm going to stick this here. So I think I've got that where it needs to be. I'm going to have some flowers down here. Okay, let me do that real quick. I'm just going to put a little bit of tape and, you know, do the whole um, gluing afterwards so I don't mess it up. Okay. I can have her real close to this. Oops. The other day I had my letters stuck to my arms. 
So let me pull this in just a little bit more. Oh, I want to cut this out, so I'll be right back. Okay, I've got the the things cut out of the window, and I always take this like sponge thing that I have and put it on there and then I take my smallest scissors and just like poke a hole in them and then I kind of um, cut like an X into it into the corners and that makes it pretty easy to cut. Okay so I am gonna put this back I think where I had it and so I think that's maybe a little lower and then the shutter kind of a little bit over that. And this up maybe just a little bit. And I'll put her about there. I want it to look like she's just dreaming. So I think about right there is good. Then I'm going to put this flower kind of down on the corner and I will um, kind of tape or glue the, the leaves down and stuff that once I, um, after I'm finished, kind of do all the extra gluing then. And it's going to say Beautiful Dreamer and I do believe I have all the letters today. <laughs> And I'm going to just put it down at the, kind of a little bit from the very bottom. So it's going to be like that. And I'll put those on when I've finished. I have um, butterflies I'm going to put here. And because I need my glue open. Um, make sure I'm back in the... So I've already pulled the little tabs off these so that you guys don't have to wait for that. And I'm kind of just like um, gradually having a bigger butterfly, or I mean smaller butterfly going from larger to smaller. And again, I put the dimensionals there and then I always try to get this down. And once in a while I have to re-glue that area. Sometimes I think I probably just don't get enough in there. Kind of want them to look like maybe they just came out flying out of there. Because she's not really wearing the corset, it's just supposed to be a pretty opening. But I think she'll love it. I love how it turned out. I love I'm so glad I thought to use that. Um, paper that looks like fabric because to me it's like that totally made it. So I've got five butterflies going here. I'm going to put that there. Or do I want to just have it somewhere else? I've got one more I thought of using. Maybe I'll put a couple over here. Because I really don't have anything going on over here. So I'm just going to take another couple of dimensionals and put those over here. I 
sure I like my little trays for trash. <laughs> oh, my stomach's growling. Okay, and where's that coming from there? I think just here. And then I might use some dimensionals and I might glue these down, kind of twist them around, down around the butterflies. But um, I'll put the letters on um, off the video and so you don't have to sit through that. And um, so I'll have close-ups at the end. Thank you very much for watching.